Well, good morning, D-listers. It is a beautiful day here in Vermilion. Um, Lake Erie is like a block that way. Um, we had a really, really chill night last night. Um, today, we're heading over to Cleveland. We're gonna check out the Christmas Story House, and we're gonna check out the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame today. And, uh, and we're gonna take you on that journey with us, but I just needed some real quiet time this morning, some downtime. So I'm out here on the porch, I'm gonna have me a little coffee, I'm gonna do a little reading, uh, I'm gonna get yesterday's vlog uploaded um, and uh, enjoy the morning a little bit. It is gorgeous out here right now. So I'll uh, get to that right now. Are you eating breakfast in your cell? Huh? Yeah? You doing all right? A little tired? All right, well, we'll let you out when uh, you eat all your breakfast. Hey, you, uh, you eating breakfast? So now what are you doing? Eating a chocolate with breakfast? How was sleeping in jail last night? It was good? All right. Wait, hey. Why are you locking me in? Wait, hey, hey! I like the jailhouse, but I'm excited about the Christmas Story House and for the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. So uh, we're gonna get out of Vermilion right now. So the people that run this place, Marcos and Marla, they're super, super cool people, um, but they have something here that I think is worth checking out. So I, I want to show it to you. And if you're a movie buff or you're a um, just a history buff in general, this is really, really cool. So check this out. This is the original Shawshank Redemption script right here, and it's signed by uh, Morgan Freeman himself. They signed this, it's an original, um, and this is super cool. So you can see inside, um, man, just all the stuff. Man, this is just super, super cool. So if uh, if you're a big movie fan or you watch TBS anytime during the week, um, Shawshank Redemption, this is the actual script signed by Morgan Freeman. Thought that was kind of cool, thought I'd show it to you. All right, we're getting out of here. All right, so uh, Marcos and Marla were awesome hosts. Girls, did you enjoy the jail? Yes! Would you come back? Mm -hmm. You like playing in here? It's good and... Uh... Hey, where are you guys going? Hey, hey we'll, uh... let me out! See ya, let's go. Let me out! Let's leave mom, come on. Hey, come, come back! On. Come on, Wait. let's go. Wait. This worked out really well. All right. Hey. All right, we're out. Let's go walk out the door. So we're in downtown Vermilion right now before we leave and we're going to this place called Brummer's Candy. Sorry, it's loud. There's a train in the background. Uh, but we're going to go into Brummer's and we're going to check out this candy shop. <laughs> So every time I see these butterscotches, I think of my grandmother's house. She used to keep these in dishes in front of uh, her coffee table. So anybody else get these? Because I love these. Butterscotch, awesome. Okay, so before we got out of town, we went down to Brummer's, the chocolate place here in Vermilion. And uh, I want you to see these truffles that the girls got. Check this out, show us all. What, what is yours? A sundae. It's a sundae? Like all sorts of different chocolates? Uh -huh. What'd you get, Nat? I got a raspberry truffle. Raspberry, dark chocolate, what's mom got? Mine's some type of dark chocolate espresso one. Cool, cool. All right, and then I got a sea salted caramel. So uh, we're all gonna say cheers. Cheers. And we're gonna eat. Oh. 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 Oh, oh my gosh. Mm. Oh my gosh. It's got a big mouth. My mouth is so full right now. Look at that. Why'd you stick the whole thing in your mouth? It's so good. <laughs> So we are in Cleveland at the uh, Christmas Story House and Museum right now. So uh, we're gonna show you around this place a little bit and uh, enjoy a little Christmas Story love right now. All right, see ya. All right, so there's uh, Ralphie's house right there. Kinda cool, let's go on across. Daddy's gonna kill Ralphie. 
That's great. That's hilarious. You want some milk? So we just finished the Christmas Story House tour. Girls, what'd you think? Ooh. You liked it? Yeah. Fun? Lore, you? Yeah, it was fun. Favorite part of the tour? What was your favorite thing to see? Ooh. I think the consensus is everybody really liked being at the house. So we're headed to the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame and then we're gonna go check into our hotel and uh, kind of chill out for the evening. Ooh, so that. we'll talk to you soon. Church. So we're at the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Here we get our rock on. You guys excited back there about the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame? Yeah. Yeah, it's gonna be fun. So we're headed in there now, just left the Christmas Story house, and uh, we're about to go get our rock and roll on. So let's go. Hey, whose is that? Taylor Swift. You Taylor Swift fan? Like some T-Swift? Hey, Matt, I think that's pretty cool. Would you wear that? I would. You would? I'm not sure, you. what'd you say? Better girl, I like what you just said. Now we're getting ready to tour Johnny Cash's tour bus, the one that he sold two months before he died. So uh, we'll take you inside there for a few minutes. All right, so we are checked in at the Hyatt Regency in uh, the Arcade at Cleveland, and uh, we are Hyatt members, and so because of that, we've been with Hyatt a long time, and uh, Hyatt hooked us up with a uh, free upgrade. So they put us in their suite. Hold on, I gotta show you this view outside. Come check this out. This is pretty cool. If you're ever in Cleveland, come stay at the Hyatt Regency uh, downtown Cleveland. Check this out. So this is why we stayed here. It's a really, really, really cool old architecture downtown Cleveland. Uh, so I think we're gonna kind of call it a day. We're gonna chill, we've done a lot today. Um, but I hope you enjoy the Christmas Story House and the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. And uh, we're gonna grab some dinner here in a little bit and just relax. So uh, we'll talk to you in a little bit when we do our Q&A that a bunch of you sent us questions for on Facebook. That's gonna be our All Day D Diary today. So we'll see you in just a little bit for that. Peace. All right, so hey there, D-listers. Welcome to a, another segment of All Day D Diaries. Um, and today we thought we'd do something a little different. I asked you on Facebook and Twitter to send us some questions for our family. And so I'm just gonna go through a couple of these. First one is this from my friend Crystal down in Dallas. She says, do you guys do devotions together? And if so, what do you do? We usually like read a book or like read on the internet. We find different like Bible things that on we go the Bible through every app. night. On the Bible app. So you yeah. version Bible app, check it out. That's what we use. And yes, the devotions every night and that's what they use. Um, what are some ways you as a family can share how you have humble, grateful children? I thought that was, uh, Christina yeah. asked that. Um, so people think you guys are grateful and humble. It's just not true, they're not. They're they're brats. No, I'm just joking. Um, I, I don't know, I think it's the, uh, I think it's one they have a great mom. I think too, they're just really good kids. We're blessed with really, really good and children. And number three, we have a great daddy. Well, But yeah. they're, they're very, they're very thoughtful and, um, very much always think of others, especially in uh -huh. Sunday school swear. situations at church, but especially at school, uh, they both have multiple stories to tell, like all the time about how they're reaching out to other kids and stuff. And yep. that's just, that's even more than what that's better we than teach. What we <laughs> teach. Um, here's one from Lisa. She has tell us something silly you do as a family on a regular basis that might surprise our viewers. Um, we dance a lot. <laughs> uh, I don't know. <laughs> uh, I don't know. We, 
Uh, we got nothing. Uh, we're actually Stuff pretty like boring. That, I we're guess. pretty boring. We just have moments yeah. like that. Um, all right, here's one um, from Melissa. What do your girls want to be when they grow up? So, what do you want to be? One answer. What do you want to be when you grow up? Fashion designer. I got two answers. Okay, okay. we'll give you both. <laughs> I want to be a teacher and a preacher. A teacher and a preacher. What do you find weird about Ohio? Weird? Yeah, what? Mm -hmm. Some of the people. <laughs> <laughs> Some of the people. <laughs> Sorry if that's you. Right. No, I'm just kidding. Mostly because we moved to Ohio. Um, anything weird for you? I don't know. You I, don't, I don't have a whole lot of weird. I that it's weird. For yeah, I don't have a whole lot of weird. Manner. Who's always first into their pajamas when it comes time for um, night? Honestly, probably you. Me? Yeah. <laughs> probably not. That's true. Yeah, um, yeah, and, and on the other side of the question, who's the last one to wake up? Do we all know? Oh. Um, how do you guys feel about all this video blogging, vlogging, as we call it? Um, I like it. I like the creative process. I like that we get to be a family together and kind of glimpse into your world. But this is really for memories for us for later in life. So mm -hmm. as much as you might want to watch this, we just make this so we can see what we do. How about you guys? Do you enjoy it? I think it's neat that like we get to have like a video record of everything yeah, we do. Yeah, me too. Except for those kind of things. How about you? <laughs> I would probably have my own talk show if I could, so I'm fine with <laughs> All right, um, here's the last question, and I think this is just for you guys. Um, do you girls feel a lot of pressure being the pastor's children, and how do you get through that as a family? Yes. Do you? Why? I just do. You feel some pressure? What do you feel Yeah, you always like have to know everybody. It's like, ah, I don't know you. What? <laughs> like, yeah! <laughs> yeah! Like, Are you Truth, talking to right me? There. I don't how know you. Yes, people just come up to you and say, hi, Ella, how are you? I'm like... Uh, hi, random person. Now, I now, <laughs> now from them, now to you, how do you feel like they deal with that and do you think they feel that too? Well, I mean, they shared how they felt about it and I mean, we kind of know that and joke about that, but honestly, they have been around people since day one. Literally seven days old, you know, both of them were on they stage. They were both in church the first Sundays after they were born. Well, she was born on a Sunday, so that didn't count. <laughs> the following Sunday The next she was. Sunday, you know, they started out in church and, you know, have always been around multiple people a lot. So they've just been kind of grown up in that well, and actually do really good in social. Mm -hmm. And our friend Cheryl from Christ Church, she said, and if they need a support group, there are plenty of PKs, preachers, kids around. To <laughs> so that's going to be kind of the end of this episode. Thanks for asking the questions. We'll do more of these. If you like them, let us know. Drop it in the YouTube comments or the Facebook comments and we'll do more of these for you. All right. Have a great night. We'll see you Bye. tomorrow. Peace.